Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a long time since I uploaded my last video, and it's been a while actually since I sit in front of the camera talking by myself, and I actually forgot how awkward it felt like talking by myself like this. But I really, really miss like talking about makeup, sharing about makeup, and get excited about it. So that's why I decided to sit down today and film this video. And obviously a lot of things have changed in my life uh, Firstly, I'm now married So it's been 3 months since I get married If I'm not mistaken, almost 3 months lah. And Alhamdulillah, everything is well, everything is good And I'm actually loving and enjoying every single day of my life right now And yeah, Alhamdulillah, I'm super grateful for everything in my life And me and my husband actually, we have been together for 11 years So we have been together since high school And he is actually the one that keep on asking me When will I do a new videos and everything And I was like, I'm so tired, like I cannot like, I don't have time to film and everything Sebab tiga kali habis kerja je Terus rasa mau merebut, terus rasa mau tidur Jadi memang saya dah masalah nak ambil video tu so enough about me, let's start talking about makeup and fun stuff. So in today's video, I wanted to show a drugstore haul. So I wanted to show what I get during the sale during the Guardian and also Watson 40 and 50% sale. So I want to show what I got and also share what are my thoughts on them because I already used almost all of them almost so i wanted to share my review and thought on them and of course it is just my opinion so if you have like different opinion you do you but this is my opinion 100 percent completely honest opinion so first of all let's start with skincare stuff first item that i got during the guardian 40 percent off is of course this bioderma micellar water because I felt like if there is only one thing that I can buy during the sale, it will be this one because everyone know this thing is hella expensive and it's good like it is totally worth it but it is so expensive and like every time I spend my money on it, I feel like oh my god like my money like rasa sayang with ya. That's why the first thing that I got during the sale is this one like if you don't get this during the sale like seriously rugi lah memang rugi however on the month where i felt like i don't have enough money like to spend on this product like i think like semua orang kita semua ada month not where kita rasa macam aduh si mau spend duit ke situ mau spend duit ke tempat lain kan so on that month usually what i do is that i bought this one it is from simple it is their um micellar cleansing water and i think that it is um, bagus juga however like of course this one is better lah I felt but this one is still okay lah so on the one way I felt like I don't have enough money then I just buy this one this one okay. and then I also bought this Eucerin uh, cleansing gel and I love it I've been using it for I don't know for months lah already and I love it I use it as part of my double cleansing routine so instead of using oil I use so instead of using cleansing oil, I use cleansing gel because I felt like the cleansing oil is most of the time is too heavy on my skin and it breaks me out. So I use cleansing gel before I use my like facial ashra. So it's part of my um, double cleansing. Also, I bought this uh, simple cleansing wipe. I think I mentioned uh, it a lot of time in my videos already that this is my favorite cleansing wipe ever. So. I bought it. So for the Watson 50% off makeup sale, what I bought is firstly this Silky Girl Expert um, Brow Slim Liners. And I bought three of them because I love it so much. So I bought um, extra for backup because I feel like if you love natural eyebrow like me, like this is the best eyebrow pencil on the drugstore because it is not too waxy, not too creamy, like but not too hard either. You know, it, I think I felt like it is just right. So that's why. I love it but if you prefer those like Instagram brow like those really really pigmented on flick brow I do recommend you guys to try the cyber color um, eyebrow pencil I have that one also so this is the cyber color eyebrow pencil but I feel like it is too much for me like I don't really love that kind of brow I love a really really like natural brow so that's why I don't use it that much and next sticking to the brow area so I bought this uh, get Chris clear brow gel. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know whether it is good or not. But it was super cheap. 
after the sales so that's why i bought it so that i can use it every day to go to work because i don't want to like use my abh clear brow gel every single day because that shit is expensive so there's no way i'm using it every single day just to go to work like no 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 i'm not doing that so that's why i bought this one okay guys so a little bit of disclaimer i actually just got back home right now because just now i went out uh, for dinner and i went to the mall in the middle of filming this i went out um, and i went out for hours lah. i think like three four hours so my makeup is already like all over the place and already the Osak. so i'm sorry if i look terrible and my makeup is all over the place and there's no way i'm going to like redo my makeup or fix my makeup because i'm too lazy for that so let's continue next let's talk about this four eyeliner here which is a great discovery of mine because i i bought it just because of the color Look, i haven't seen any review on this eyeliner before this like i haven't even heard about them before this i just you know beli ja because i felt like ni kaca so beli ja lah macam ya and i was really surprised at how good it actually is so i was like oh my god thank god i bought it and it was on sale so i was like yes so this is how it looks like i don't know i think you guys cannot baca pun but it is the catrice 18 hour color and contour eye pencil and it is so good like so freaking good i was mind blown by this actually because it is so good and it was so cheap after the sale i cannot remember what the price is but it was so so cheap less than 10 ringgit yeah for sure less than 10 ringgit it is so good like seriously so good i actually think it is better than colourpop cream gel liner i think it's much better than the colourpop cream gel liner and it's drugstore in malaysia so you can get it easily it's catrice so the first shade that i got is this one is up in the air the blue one and then i got this one green smoothie the green one and then this one is the reason why i bought it in the first place because i was searching for a uh, pink eyeliner and this one is in the shade who cares what they pink like the naming on this eyeliner is so funny i like it so much and this one is also my favorite it is in the shade duchess of champagne bridge it is what i'm using right now on my inner corner and i use it the other day on my waterline and even after hours of sweating under the heat and everything it stays under my waterline and that's when i realized that this eyeliner is so good and then during application it is so so pigmented and it glides so smoothly like it is so easy to apply it on the waterline because you don't have to like berkali-kali like that because we just one swipe it is already pigmented and like seriously it glides so smoothly and it also came with a sharpener here on the bottom so that you can sharpen this so that you know Tajam, so easy lah, senang lah if you want to apply it. And the next item that I got from the sale is this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Like, I think everyone know up to this point that this is great. Like, it is a really, really good mascara that you can get on the drugstore. Like, seriously, if you like something voluminous and like really black then grab this because it is good and this was on sale 50% off so that's why i bought it for backup because i still got my lash paradise but i got a new one for backup that's why i haven't opened this one yet because i still have mine but mine is already like finishing lah then i have this tapi beli tu lah for backup i also got this maybelline the falsies push up drama mascara this one i also got this one um i haven't uh tried it before this when i bought it so i was just like beli jak because it is so famous in malaysia so that's why i bought it because a lot of malaysian makeup artists love this so that's why i bought it and it was on sale so macam coba aja lah and girl this is also so freaking good i know like i finally know why it is so hype in malaysia like i understand why it is hard so i feel like the difference between these two is that if you want something that is lengthening and also like separated your lashes so that it uh, it 
does look more like natural because you know it is not clumpy together it is separated then go for this one uh, and also what I love about this one is that it really hold up my curls even if I don't use color like it still curls uh, my lashes up because my lashes is so straight I think most Asian have a really straight um, eyelash so even if and I feel like this one doesn't like hold my curls that well compared to this so I think that's why like macam orang putih because I feel like the lashes are not as straight as Asian like so that's why I think this one is more famous in Malaysia in Asian country because this one really does hold your curls up and that's why I love it so in my opinion it all depends on your preference so if you want something more voluminous for your mascara then go for this one and if you want something more to lengthening and also um, uh, separate lashes then go grab this one so, but both of them are good. Now let's move on to foundation. So during the sale, I got these two foundation. Sometimes I feel like I cannot justify why it is so expensive, even though it is drugstore. This is how I feel like for most of a drugstore foundation. So that's why I haven't bought and tried a lot of drugstore foundation actually because. I don't know why so that's why during the sale I grabbed this too because uh, this one is very very hype this Catrice HD liquid foundation so that's why I wanted to try it a lot of people say that it is like kind of similar with the Fenty one I don't know like, whether it's right now because I haven't tried the Fenty one also and a lot of people say that it is great for oily skin so that's why I bought it and it is what I'm wearing right now actually and this is my second time using it and my opinion is that as for right now is it is good but I don't feel like it is my holy grail kind of foundation I don't know why my my opinion might changes because it is only my second time using it my preference on foundation um, always change because before this I like a really really like super matte foundation and then now I actually kind of prefer something that is more fresh it's more like skin light and also like semi matte also dewy I don't know why I don't know what it is but I felt like nowadays I don't prefer something that is like all matte I like something that is look fresh on me I don't know like that is my current preference lab changes over time so for this foundation it is matte so if you love something that is mattifying for your oily skin then I would say like this is a good foundation to try on but like I said just now um, it's, I still cannot say it is my holy grail foundation lah it's good but hmm like that and the next foundation that I got is this L'Oreal Infallible Stay Fresh foundation so for this foundation I don't advise you to go and buy it because um, L'Oreal will come out with a new and better um, version of this foundation after this this is actually already out in the US in Singapore and other part of the world except for Malaysia lah <laughs> because Malaysia belum keluar lagi but they will come out with a new version new better version of this which is the um, fresh wear 34 hours fresh wear foundation and for all of the review I saw on that um, foundation is everyone say it is super good like it is so so good it's the best foundation on the drug so so, so this one I cannot wait to try that foundation and I bought this one because I wanted to compare it with the new version one later when I bought it when it is available in Malaysia lah so I want to compare both of them and it was on sale also so that's why I bought it just to try it out lah but I do advise you guys to wait until the new version come to Malaysia and try that one instead and when I bought this actually like um all the shade that is left is all like the darker shade this one is like the most lighter shade that i can find that is available in here like in bintulu but still it is too dark for me so that's why when i use this one the other day i combine it with the huda beauty foundation because this one is a little bit lighter for me so i 
mix them together and I use it and, and I actually like the combination between these two because this one is matte and this one is uh, a fresher kind of foundation so I like the combination of these two and when I use them I like the combination I like the finish so so much it's so beautiful I feel like it looks so fresh on my skin but throughout the day I do find my skin to be to get oily so I need to blot my skin but still I love the finishing because it is not matte because nowadays I like like I just said just now I like like a fresh foundation so that's why I enjoy using this one more than the Catrice actually but if you have a really really oily skin you might not like this next let's talk about lipstick so I bought three lipstick during the sale so let's talk about this Rimmel lipstick first so I bought two of them this one is in the shade blush and this one is in the shade be my baby so I bought two of these and this Rimmel liquid lipstick is actually quite famous in Malaysia it was hyped by Nisha if I'm not mistaken so that's why I bought it okay so this is the swatches if you are curious this one is in the shade blush and this one is be my baby so this is how the color looks like the last liquid lipstick that i got during the sale is from maybelline it is the superstay matte ink liquid lipstick this one is in the shade 75 fighter it is the one that i am using right now so this is how the shade uh, 75 fighter looks like kind of look like a burnt orange kind of shade so i love this kind of shade so i applied this lipstick here when i was filming earlier before i went out for dinner and to the mall like I've been out for like three four hours just now and it's been on my lip for five hours something like that and I didn't retouch it at all and just now I add kwetiau goreng and it is so oily and greasy but my lipstick still look like this still look the same and I used this the other day I really have to like what what scrub my lips and everything to remove it from my lips and that's why i don't like this kind of liquid lipstick because it will need like a lot of effort and i'm not into that but it's not this product punya salah lah it's my fault lah because it did mention here that it is super stay kind of liquid lipstick so of course it will be hard to be removed but I just want to share it because maybe there are people out there that is like me who doesn't like a really really hard to be removed liquid lipstick so I would advise you to not grab this one because this one is very very hard to be removed but the things that I really love about the liquid lipstick is actually the applicator I found that when I use this applicator I can apply my lipstick really really kaca and it doesn't take much effort and also doesn't take much time and also it is not drying at all so even though it is hard to be removed like i said just now but it doesn't dry your lips at all it is actually quite creamy it's not like very very creamy but it is quite creamy like a bit so that is what i love about this one lah so the only thing that i was turned off about this product is it is hard to be removed lah ya ja lah but ngada-ngada luar macam susah mau buang pun complain when you transfer from complain tapi ya lah hmm. and next i also grabbed this maybelline fit me uh press powder and i feel like everyone already know lah about this powder because it was so so famous and yes i do agree that this powder is really really good it does smooth out your skin it is so funny meal i love everything about this powder and i actually bought it because my uh, maybelline superstay better skin powder is then abyss so that's why i bought it actually okay so the next product is not something that i bought from the drugstore actually but i just want to share it because so it is something that i bought from shopee because it's not available in watson or guardian in malaysia so that's why i bought it from shopee of course from trusted seller lah to make sure that it is uh, original so i bought the maybelline fit me loose powder this one is so freaking famous like everyone swear that it is so freaking good so that's why i bought it and people keep on saying that it is comparable to the um what is laura mercier uh, translucent loose powder so that's why i bought it and oh my god this is so good like so freaking good i don't use it every single day like, obviously because it's loose powder i use it like on special occasion when i'm feeling like glamming up 
or something like that so i love it so so much it does make your skin look more smooth and just overall look better so i love it so so much it doesn't look too cakey also because it is so finely milled like it does really does smooth turn out your um, face so i love it so so much and i highly recommend this if you want to try it because it's so good like so so good this is so good and also i bought the morphe um continuous setting mist and i've been wanting this for so so long like so so long and i've seen everyone use it everyone says it's the best setting spray ever and yes i agree this is seriously is the best setting spray ever like first of all look at this mist like oh my god i don't know if you guys can see it or not but it is so so fine when you apply it on your face on your makeup it doesn't ruin the makeup it make your makeup last longer and oh my god it just hands down the best makeup setting spray ever like i don't care if you love morphe or not if you support morphe or not i know i know there's been a lot of controversy around this brand but seriously it is so so good like i've tried the skin i tried the urban decay uh, all night setting spray i also have tried milani but else i also have tried a bunch of setting spray and i found that this is the best one so far like it's really really good i don't know what else to say it's so so good it's freaking good like go go and buy it because it's so good so yeah i think that is it for today's video that is all of the item i theme this is all of the item that i bought recently and that is my review like my opinion on them you, you might agree or you might disagree but it's just my opinion and yeah I don't know what else to say but thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you guys haven't already and i will try to make more videos after this and yeah i'll see you guys on my next video bye